So I woke up later than I would have thought, but you know, that's not going to stop me from reacting to this. Uh, when it comes to the Marvel specials, I, I've been looking forward to some of these. I still haven't gotten to Werewolf by Night, so if you guys are interested in seeing me react to that, make sure you let me know. But I was in New York Comic Con when it dropped, so by the time I got back, I already had a lot of other things I had to catch up on, and I just didn't get around to it. But... With Guardians, you guys know I'm, I'm stoked to check this out ever since they announced it. Of course, we have Volume 3 that we're excited for. There's been a lot of delays, but still, I'm just so excited to get more Guardians content in general. Um, the sad thing is that this is probably one of the only... Like, this is probably one of the last times we're going to see the Guardians together happily, you know? Uh, in Volume 3, we know we're going to be saying goodbye to some people, but on top of that, um, it's probably going to be a depressing movie. It feels like we're going to have some fun moments, but I don't know. In order to say goodbye to some of these characters, they're usually going to do it in a depressing manner. So I, I, I'm just nervous. I'm nervous, but I'm really happy that we're able to get just a, a fun film, you know? I know that we're going to have some sad moments because they're talking about, you know, um, Star-Lord and Gamora and you know all that stuff. So this is a lot to, you know, just dive into, and I'm just, I'm really happy. So I'm, um, I'm excited to start this off so again if you're new subscribe let me know how you're feeling let me know if you enjoyed it let me know if you want me to react to werewolf by night and uh yeah let's get busy marvel studios special presentation oh this is awesome hey, hey, hey. animation what in the fires of all guards yondu oh it's a flashback don't come at me with no damn gifts come on what man gets, he works for it's, more like a, it's good to hear his voice man Oh, yeah, dude. Good to have him back. Christmas. Bah humbug. <laughs> Look at that man. I like that was so Yandu cool. Kicked over the tree. <laughs> I hate stories where everybody lives. <laughs> what? Ah, <laughs> oh, look at him. Cosmo. Cosmo. I refuse to do any more work while you demean me. All right, all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Rocket has a pet. I love it. <laughs> Christmas. Oh. Everything uh, I know about Christmas, I learned from Rocket, who learned from Cosmo. Oh, this is going to be a big game of telephone where they're going to get it totally wrong. Christmas. That's perfect. Good. Uh, no, no, no. no. I'm not Let him finish. Is a furry freak with what? <laughs> oh, it grew! What the hell did they do to him? <laughs> No, oh my god. Put dung in your socks. That is not part of the lore at all. Santa comes oh, look at Groot. Plums and oh my god. No, don't know what Christmas is, but Christmas time is <laughs> oh, this is so goofy. I love it. Yo, Groot is going crazy, bro. Mrs. Claus, she works the pole. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my new favorite song. <laughs> oh, quite the intro, man. It sounds like Christmas is This is so cool, time. dude. Your cool sister? Oh. Peter's father. Cuz yeah, his father created him. Her, I mean. He's so sad about Gamora being gone. Ah, oh, man, this really wonderful. Except you ate them all. Get over the Zognats! Sheesh. What about someone special? Oh god, they're about to kidnap what? Kevin Bacon. Over the years. <laughs> oh my god. They're terrified. They're like, not again! They're gonna PTSD, bro. The cloaking device on like you said you did. And they were both blipped, so they've never really spent time on Earth like Nebula and Rocket. People are gonna try to take pictures with them, bro, I'm telling you. Jack Sparrow! Ant-Man! Steve! Oh my god! Wait, she didn't even know him like that! Robots <laughs> kill his cousin! I'll rip your head off! Stop being a Oh, what the hell, man? We got a picture with the god of war! The god of. They, they think he's Kratos? <laughs> they put in money. Oh my god. Oh my god, Drax! Kingo! Oh, I love the Eternals Easter egg. Oh my god, man, this... <laughs> oh my god, man. There are tens of thousands of people on this planet. That's it? <laughs> See, star maps shouldn't exist. 
Yo, put her to sleep and run. I don't know where my money is. Give me all your money. Oh my god, man. This <laughs> Queen Latifah, John Cena. Honored, what is it with this? Too many names. Dude's really starring in an MCU project as himself. Dairy Kevin Bacon. 1988. Ha. <laughs> but this is not cool. This is he's, private property. Yeah, he's very no. calm. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, how is it fair you get to keep it and I don't? Because I was responsible and held on to it. Alright. During that entire conversation, he could have got it. Oh my god, man. This is kind of scary, bro. <laughs> I'm a police officer. I don't know what's going on here, but you need to Girl, back drew up the gun right shoot. away. <laughs> but damn. Stop! That ain't stopping him. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to laugh. God, this is sick. Stop shooting him. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. They just kill people. Well, how am I supposed to know the rules? Wait, you killed them? Oh man, this. Or even now. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get himself a little man. Cool. Are you friends with the Fonz? <laughs> the Fonz. Fonz. McCormick in the movie Footloose. What? Oh what no. About when you Through the neck with an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at he's all the stuff actor. they got. He's never oh actually my seen God. anyone. But actors are repugnant. I know. A disgusting. Actor. Oh my god. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. You have to pretend you're an actual hero. Oh or else no. Christmas is doomed. But hello, I'm Bruce Wayne. Who is oh Bruce my god, Wayne? are they allowed no, to do this? Don't be someone else. <laughs> what is wrong with them? <laughs> oh, look at him, look at him. Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> Oh, did they, they put him in a box? Oh, no, look at him. <laughs> he's like, what did you do? <laughs> it's Kevin Bacon. He's not a loser. He's great. We don't have him well. <laughs> human being as a present. What better gift for the guy who does everything <laughs> than an actual human living person? This isn't a Christmas gift. This, this, is, this is human trafficking. <laughs> Dude, calm down. We're not going to hurt you. That's a talking raccoon. I'll kill you! <laughs> Don't run. You're not gonna run. <laughs> You're gonna run. Go get Kevin Bacon. I've got him. Don't kill him! Don't, don't kill him. Now he might just be the greatest hero alive. Oh, is that right? Well, alive, yeah. How does this phone work? Got some friends here that kind of need to learn. Ah, look at Groot, man. Oh, wow. A Game Boy? What? If it's the arm. It's the arm! No way! <laughs> he got himself! <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does that make me incredibly happy for some reason? <laughs> ah, this is fun. Look at Nebula. <laughs> uh... <laughs> hey, I'll see you at Easter. Wait, what? <laughs> I guess all actors aren't complete pieces of shit. <laughs> oh, there's more to the story. Of course there is. Oh, he's gonna open the present. Oh, that's how we got the. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Wait, so does that make you my sister? Ah, this is the greatest Christmas gift I could ever get. <laughs> oh, she oh, was Christmas so scared, man. man. Christmas, oh, what a great! Oh, this is this was really fun. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to all. There was a post-credit scene apparently that I missed, so we're gonna we're gonna watch that right now. Oh my God, because he's a tree. Oh, weird? Oh, that is that what we're doing for Easter, or is that no? What what are we doing? I mean, 
I honestly have big surprise with how much I enjoyed it. I expected to go into this and just have a fun little time, and I think that's what I got, but uh, I mean, just the flashbacks, everything, it just made this... I don't know. It was awesome. It was great. I don't know. I don't know what to say, dude. But I, I just... Oh, man, it's just... Uh, it, it's depressing, you know, of course, getting the Yandu flashbacks, but it is, it is awesome to be able to know that there is more of a story to it than what we saw in the beginning of the episode, uh, because we did see, of course, him destroy the tree, but we ended up diving into it later on, and we realized that that's how he got the two little guns that he has. It, it all led to, you know, you know, something great, and it was, it's just really cool, because we we saw Yondu at the end of Volume 2, we realized that the dude, he has a big heart, so being able to see more of that, it, it was fun, man, and this just, it felt... It was just such, yeah, it's a Christmas special, so it feeling like a Christmas special makes sense, but it's just so awesome that, you know, we're just so close to Christmas time. I love Christmas, and not even, I don't, the gifts, none of that, like, really, it, it, I mean, obviously, gifts are awesome, but it's just the atmosphere, you know, the movies, the music, just everything about it, I just, I enjoy it, you know? I, I love to sit back and watch a Christmas movie, I just enjoy the the way things are, you know, that's just how I've always been. And I, I just, I love that, you know. Um, we end up seeing Cosmo and Rocket. Awesome to see a little relationship between them two, considering that Rocket never really liked to be looked at as an animal. And, uh, of course, his interactions with uh, Cosmo were just really, really interesting in this episode. I, I'm really looking forward to seeing more of that if we do get Cosmo in Volume 3. Um, we got to see Cosmo, I believe, in Volume 2. I think we might have even seen him in the first one. But I don't think we got much, much, I don't think we got any speaking lines. I think in the first one, uh, Cosmo barked at Rocket, and I think that was it. But that, that's all I remember. Um, we end up seeing us go to Earth to, we're going to Earth to get Kevin Bacon, of course. that We knew that was going to be how this was going to play out. Um, you know, with uh, the, the trailers, the promotional stuff, all of that, it made sense, you know. Um, I think it would have been so funny if they didn't, if they just did commercials without Kevin Bacon, you know, because if we went into this, because I, I, I think there's going to be, I don't know how many people are going to end up watching this, but like, I, I feel like a lot of people would have watched it solely just because it's a car, it has the Guardians of the Galaxy named, names attached to it. But um, going into it, seeing that Kevin Bacon, like, I feel like if that was a surprise, that would have just been so, so funny. But they had some other callbacks, which were cool. I'm pretty sure we got a Kingo Easter egg of Rocket getting Bucky's arm was hilarious. Um, you know, of course, mentioning Ego, which makes sense. But there, there was just a lot going on. And I honestly, I was, I was really, I liked that a lot. But seeing um, Drax and Mantis kind of going off on their own little adventure was pretty fun because they're two characters that we saw, you know, they're, they're, they're interesting, you know, and uh, seeing them kind of go off, they were looking for Kevin Bacon, we see them going clubbing, then we see them break into Kevin Bacon's house, we see them kidnap Kevin Bacon, we see, see that awesome scene with the whole police and everything with, with them, you know, just taking out the police and then Drax flipping the car and then Mantis being glad that the officers aren't gone, you know, it was just, it, there was just so much going on, my head was, my head hurt, but it was really, it was really interesting, but of course when we did bring him to Peter and all of them. Of course, Peter was like, bring him back. Do not know. You can't kidnap a person. This is human trafficking. And it's like, he's constantly teaching them as, you know, time progresses. And it's just so funny because, like, I mean, you think they would have learned by now, but that's just not how they are. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that, like I said, Rocket getting Bucky's arm, the highlight of the episode for me. It's so funny. Um, Kevin Bacon saying, I'll see you at Easter. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I'm just, uh, I'm so excited for, for just more Marvel Marvel content, you know. Um, we didn't, like I said, we didn't get to Werewolf by Night. So if you're into me or interested in me getting, you know, reacting to that, let me know. Wouldn't mind it. Uh, but we got a lot of other stuff. We're going to finish Wednesday. That's the goal. And then we got some homework due for, for Sunday. And then as soon as we're done with that, I do plan on trying to get some other content. I, I really want to start the campaign for Call of Duty. And then we're going to upload that on um, our gaming channel, which is in the link tree. So all you guys got to do is go to the link tree and follow the different socials we have there. I'd really appreciate that. But again, um, happy holidays. Of course, I hope you guys had a fantastic Thanksgiving for those who do celebrate it. And um, I just want to say th I am thankful for everyone that has been, you know, tuning in and showing me a lot of support on these videos. So again, big thank you to all of you. And I will see you soon. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're staying safe and um, peace out.